Daquan, you're out here from Dorsey High School in Los Angeles at the B2G Elite Camp. Yes. You've got a couple of other guys out here from Dorsey. How has it helped you um, to get, you know, get comfortable around some of these elite players, being that you have a couple of guys from your school out here as well? Uh, I practice with these guys, you know, about every Saturday at the instinct training. So the comp competition level I'm kind of used to and having some of my teammates out here just make me more comfortable around, you know, around my teammates and who I'm competing with. How long have you been participating in the B2G camps and workouts, and how have they helped you improve your game to get better prepared for the next level? I've been competing with B2G since the ninth grade, and the competition level here is like no other in the country. You compete with the best from all over, all over states, countries, it doesn't matter. And the, your competition level is high, so you're either going to step up or get embarrassed. So that's how I've gotten better over the years since the ninth grade. You guys had some great competition going on over there in the one-on-one -on -one drills with the wide receivers. Yes. Who are some of the guys on the offensive side of the ball that impressed you and helped you elevate your game? Um, David Williams, he's a uh, receiver over there. Uh, Mario A. Stringfellow, um, and I don't know this one receiver's name. He's from Chicago, though. He looked very impressive today. Now, being able to be out here and compete with some of those guys from you know out of state and these other regions. What kind of advantage do you think that gives you in getting prepared for the upcoming season? The advantage it gives me is the like in my my city and the teams we play there, they're not all elite players like out here. So all the things I learned in out here and the competition I play against, I just gotta take that back to my team and you know, add it in to my coaches, my coaches scheme and, you know, go uh, use all that and apply it against the teams we play against. Now you guys do a lot of stuff out here that's definitely unique with regards to some of the drills yeah. and different routines that you go through. You know, what are some of those drills and how have they helped you, per, you know, better your game? Uh, some drills we do like back pay, back pedal break angles. You know, breaking at angles. You know, breaking to the top shoulder stuff like that. The detailed things we do out here is all the things that actually comes to play in the actual game. So it helps a lot. Now, there's a lot of guys out here, you know, th that help out, volunteer, that work with B2G, that are former players themselves, college, pro level. Yeah. How does it help you working with some of those guys to get ready, you know, to pursue your dreams of playing where they were, once were? Yeah, the advice they give me and the techniques and all the information, you know, is first-hand knowledge because they've been there and done that. So anything I can grasp from these, you know, guys is always helpful. Going into your senior season, you know, you're obviously re receiving attention um, on the recruiting trail. Who are some of those schools that have, that have shown interest, and do you have any official offers currently? Yes, I have seven official offers from Washington State, Cal Berkeley, San Jose State, Arizona State, UCLA, Boise State, and Washington. Now, obviously, you're, you know, you're highly touted recruit um, on the defensive side of the ball. Yes. What are some of the other schools that maybe haven't offered yet that you're looking to get offers from and that you would consider playing for at the next level? Um, maybe Oregon. Oregon is still an offer, and I'm very interested in them. Okay. As well. Now, if you had to pull out a top three, top five list of schools right now, who would that be? Right now, I don't have a top three. You know, I'm treating everyone the same, you know, looking into every school the same. So I don't have a top right now. Do you have any schools lined up that you may want to, you know, take official visits to or you may want to just go out and check out to get a little bit more of an in-depth feel? Um, yes, Arizona State. Uh, I'll take an official visit to them in some, sometime December with my teammate safety, Jamie Oltsmeo. And Washington, I will take an official up there, maybe Oregon. Okay. What are you working on most during this offseason to get ready to, to help your team reach that next level in the CIF? I've just been, you know, working on my technique, anything I can do to help my team get better as a cornerback, you know, lock that side of the field down. I've been working on some receiver things, too, because I also play receiver for my team, so I've been getting techniques and, you know, off-the-ball moves and routes. So I've been doing stuff like that, and, you know, I've just been trying to be a leader for my team in these uh, circuits, this all-season circuits, the passing league tournaments.